My name is Mildred Elizabeth Dunham Van Dyke, and I am 99 years old. I was born in Trenton, New Jersey on January 30th, 1913, the daughter of Calvin Thompson Dunham of Millington and, and Basking Ridge, New Jersey, and Emma Spickler Moyer of Derry Church, Pennsylvania, Hershey. I joined the Basking Ridge Church on September 29, 1963. I was active as a Sunday school teacher, president of the Women's Association, elder, deacon, historian, and co-author of the church history. My father was Calvin Thompson Dunham, who was named for his maternal grandfather, Calvin Thompson, Sunday school superintendent for 25 years, elder and bass soloist in the church choir, along with sons Louis and Joseph, and daughters Catherine and Fanny. My father was born in 1883 and grew up in a historic farmhouse at 100 Basking Ridge Road in Millington, built in 1732 and now on the national list of historic houses. Because of my grandfather Dunham's health, they had left the Millington Farm in 1903 and moved to North Maple Avenue, Basking Ridge, near Madisonville Road, where my grandmother, Anna Thompson, was born and lived. <coughs> Dad was baptized in the Basking Ridge Presbyterian Church and joined the church on September 4, 1897 and transferred to Prospect Street Presbyterian Church in Trenton on January 3rd, 1912. His father, my grandfather, was Charles Barkley Dunham. He was born in 1843 in a historic house on Basking Ridge Road next to the Passaic River in Millington, New Jersey. After my family sold it to the Cabanado family, it burned to the ground and was replaced by another house. Charles stayed on the farm to help his father while his two brothers went to Newark to make their way in the work. Charles married Anna Margaret Thompson in 1880 in an old house on Madisonville Road. She was born in 1850 and baptized in the, bapti in the Basking Ridge Presbyterian Church in 1853. She joined the church on February 2, 1867. She attended the Basking Ridge Academy along with the sons of the Reverend John Rankin, who was minister of the Basking Ridge Presbyterian Church from about 1850 to 1895. Charles served as elder in 1906 when there were six elders. His father-in-law, Calvin Thompson, Calvin Smith, Samuel Childs, Charles Roberts, and Garrett Borges. He died in November 1908, soon after his son Calvin graduated from Princeton. My great-grandfather was Robert Barkley, usually called Barkley Dunham. He was born in 1816 and lived in New York City for the first nine years. He married Jane Wilson Heath in 1840. She was born on October 1st, 1815. After marriage, they lived in Millington in the old house next to where Jane Heath grew up. They retired to Plainfield and attended the Crescent Avenue Presbyterian Church. He died in 1897 and she died at Son David's house in Liberty Corner in 1900. Both are buried in the Methodist Cemetery on West Oak Street, Basking Ridge, because at the time, the cemetery at Basking Ridge Presbyterian Church was full. Many of our church members are buried there. Later, Mr. William Childs was able to buy more land behind the Basking Ridge Presbyterian Church and presented it to the church. His father <coughs> was Amos Dunham. He was born in 1771 in New Germantown, now Oldwood. 
He was married to Mary Barclay of Lamington, daughter of John Barclay and Mary Brown. Amos and Mary had three sons, Robert, William, and David. The family lived in New York City for nine years until Amos earned enough to buy a farm on Lyons Road, Basking Ridge, halfway between Liberty Corner and Basking Ridge. Mary belonged to the American Bible Society and called on people and distributed Bibles to the people in the Liberty Corner area. This led to the establishment of the Liberty Corner Church in 1839. There were 21 charter members, 20 of whom transferred from the Basking Ridge Church and one from New Vernon. Of these charter members, seven were Dunhams. Amos and Mary and some of their family are buried in the Liberty Corner Cemetery. Amos's father was Ben U. Dunham, born in Woodbridge in 1732. He married Mary Elizabeth Heath in 1757. This is as far back as I go on the Dunham side here in Basking Ridge. My line continues in Basking Ridge, however, with my great-grandmother, Jane Wilson Heath. Her father was Daniel Heath, Jr., born in 1785 and listed in Dr. Brownlee's survey of Basking Ridge Presbyterian Church members in 1818. Her mother was Jane Wilson, born in 1787. They are both buried in our old churchyard. He is engraved 438 and she in 437. Jane Wilson's parents were Stafford Wilson, born in 1750, and Agnes Boyle, born in 1760. They were married on December 24, 1778. They are both buried here, he in 320 and she in 319. He was a native of Ireland, as his gravestone reads, probably North Ireland since he was a Presbyterian, since he was a Presbyterian. Stafford was a veteran of the Revolutionary War, thus my membership in the DAR. In his pension records, Silas Condon of Morristown testifies that he had known Stafford Wilson all his life that he was a tailor and made a suit of clothes for him. Agnes Boyle's father was Solomon Boyle, Jr., born in 1735, died in 1801, and buried in grave 140. His mother was Margaret Hull, born 1742, died 1777, and buried in grave 133. Margaret, the daughter of Tristram Hall, and the granddaughter of Benjamin Hull was born in Piscataway. Her family moved to Long Hill in Millington, where she met her husband, Solomon Boyle, Jr. Her family moved on to Chester, where her father had a tavern. He is buried in the Congregational Churchyard there. Solomon Boyle, Jr. was the son of Solomon Boyle and Susanna Magdalena Pelletro. Solomon Sr. was born in Northern Ireland, died in 1771, and buried in grave 43 under the old oak in Basking Ridge. His wife, Susanna Magdalena, was born in February 1701 or 1702, died in 1761, and buried in grave 45. They were married in 1722 in the French church in New York City. Some of her family, the Pelletros, were silversmiths. Solomon bought 600 acres of land from the proprietors of East Jersey for 250 pounds. The land lies in Millington, next to Basking Ridge and close by the Passaic River. Architects have said they think the house at 100 Basking Ridge Road, which is now Ava Maria Court, is the oldest of the three Boyle houses and where Solomon Boyle Sr. may have lived first. At any rate, his son, Solomon Jr., 
lived there and sold it to Stafford Wilson, his son-in-law. I have the original deed. Solomon's name, along with others, is on the deed for the land where the original church was built. Solomon and Lord Sterling attended the church at the same time and paid for their seats. After Susanna died, Solomon brought Sarah Baldwin Ford, the sister of Jacob Ford's wife and the widow of Jacob Ford's brother. Jacob Ford signed their marriage license. Solomon Sr. died in 1771 and was buried next to his first wife, Susanna. His gravestone reads, Mr. Solomon Boyle, the Mr. signifying a mark of distinction. Thus ended the direct line of, of my ancestors who were members of our church. However, their brothers and sisters and children who were members have also not also number 96 who are listed in the church's database. 25 of them are Dunham's and 21 of them are buried here in the old churchyard. So you see, my roots go very deep here in our sacred ground.